Don't know what to do? Do what you are. This is the Think Your Reality Podcast, episode number 85. Hang on, here we go. Your destiny is by your design. Getting what you want in your professional life is gained by following a series of steps created by your mindset. Are you ready to start the journey? This is the Think Your Reality Podcast. Here's Mike Sims. Hey, it's Mike Sims, and thank you again for allowing me to spend some time with you, and I hope and pray that you're doing well on your way to becoming the greatest version of you. So your way in the world is not yet known by you. It may be hiding or hibernating. What would waking it up do for you or do to you? When you are certain of the goal to set, when you're looking for your place, simply do what you are. Let's discuss. The very existence you're looking for lies within what you are. And what you are is of your own making and choice. Your choices are often tied to something inherent within you that you enjoy doing. Those choices or decisions are what forms your life and the path that follows. They're based on the DNA within you that describes what makes you different from everybody else. Just as an example, I'm the father of four grown kids. They had the same upbringing, all bad, subjected to the same parenting, same schools and education, and they could not be more different in what they do as a profession. Each of them wouldn't do what the other does, and that suits them just fine. They have a mutual respect for their chosen lines of work and the understanding that they would not be comfortable doing what any of their siblings do. They do what they are. Looking everywhere but inside your mind. It seems unusual to me that so many of us look outside for the answers of what to do with our professional lives. Your ideas have value. I have on many occasions written in defense of your ideas, and you yet you and I have never met. A few common examples I've used and bear repeating, the hula hoop was at first a broken piece of garden hose. Silly Putty is a $5 billion entity first seen as a failure. The Wright brothers were bicycle mechanics. So what ideas do you have, and why are we not seeing them? What's to say that bringing your ideas to the attention of society doesn't spark another's view of it, a collaboration and a complete manifestation of something new and wondrous, all stemming from your idea. What's hiding in your mind? We look outside as if we expect a complete stranger to have the answers to our own life's obstacles. Most people are not on your quest. They are not seeking for the best version of themselves. They wouldn't understand the mindset you are developing or have, much to their detriment. The answers lie within. That should be comforting because self-reliance always is. Life is very different for those that can stand firm in the pursuit of their hopes and their dreams. Your life up until now may be classified as a mystery. You have yet to find your purpose or you know it, you're just unsure of the path to take to get there. Again, do what you are. There is great success and wisdom in being self-directed. Living life on our terms, to me, is not the best type of existence. It's the only type of existence. Doing what you are affords you this. What may sound counterintuitive in the beginning makes the most sense for your professional satisfaction. Let me repeat that, if I may. What may sound counterintuitive in the beginning makes the most sense for your professional satisfaction. How much happier and productive are you when you are doing what aligns most with what you are as a human being. My older brother and I shared a room when we were growing up, and there were model planes hanging from the ceiling as he was obsessed with aircrafts. And it was no surprise to the family that he spent his career with the Federal Aviation Administration as an air traffic controller at John Kennedy Airport in New York. So his retirement was mandatory through the FAA at a certain age. And he told me that he sat in his office on his last day and he cried that his career had come to an end. Most people run to the exits singing at the thought of their retirement. Not him. And less than three months of being home, he took a position with an airline analyzing reports. He missed that which he was so attuned to doing. So how much more fulfilling is your life when you are doing what you are? The greatest discovery in life is the revelation of what you are adept at doing and finding a career that is most in line with you. 
then you've become a round peg in a round hole, as opposed to the square peg being forced into a place you don't belong. Your life's work is easier and infinitely more enjoyable when your innate or inborn talents are used in conjunction with your profession. This applies in the entrepreneurial as well as the corporate world. My name is Mike Sims. This is the Thinking Reality Podcast. And as always, I wish you an absolutely awesome day as I know in my heart you deserve nothing less.